In this video, I'm going to talk about section views. So section views are used to clarify the interior portions of a part. So many parts have complicated features that you can't easily see with either a regular view or with hidden lines. Another use of section views is to avoid hidden lines. It's a fundamental drafting rule that we never dimension hidden lines, so we need something in their place. What a section view, view does is cut through the part creates a whole nother view that shows where you cut through the part and what's inside of it. So there's seven different kinds of section views we'll talk about today. We'll start with the full section. So the full section is used when you have a symmetric part and then the section view is in projection. Now the wacky thing about the full section is you're not going to use a cutting plane. It's just understood that it's a uh, a section of that part. So say you have a front view and then you have a right view, that right view would be sectioned and it's just understood that it's in projection. So it looks a little bit like this on the board. Say you have a, a round part, you got four holes, you got a boss right here. Instead of doing a section line through the middle of the part, we're just going to show the part in projection, right? We're gonna flip it around where there would be hidden lines here if it was a regular view. We'll turn those into visible lines for the section. We can get rid of this. This is where the boss would contact the part. And here's an example of what I'm talking about. So just, uh, you know, we take the front view and then we take that left view. So you can kind of see it right there. So now we can just section, section the part, add our center lines, and we're good to go with that full section. So one thing about section views is we almost never show uh, hidden lines in a section view because the whole point of the section view is to make things uh, more readable to whoever's looking at the drawing. If you start adding hidden lines, so you could conceivably add hidden lines for these two holes going through the part, now it can become more confusing, you know, even though you're using a section view, okay? So that's our full section. The next section we're gonna talk about is the half section. So this is a technique where instead of cutting straight through the part, we're going to cut a quarter of the part out. So we're gonna take this chunk of the part out. Imagine it just disappears and we're gonna look at it here. This portion of the part below this line does not get sectioned. So let me show you what that looks like. So on the view that's sectioned, the top half will be in section, the bottom half will not. If you notice, you've got this line here where this boss connects with the part, and we're not gonna use hidden lines right here. That's really just a drafter's choice. You could show hidden lines there or you could omit them. Now, as far as the cutting plane goes, it's gonna be a little bit different than a normal cutting plane. Of course, it's gonna be at a right angle. So we're just gonna put dashes in it like we would any other cutting plane. And then we're gonna have a single arrow here but no arrow on this side. The idea is that you're only cutting this, right? This portion of the part, this wouldn't get its own arrow, okay? So it should look very different on the drawing. So the next section we have to talk about is the offset section. So this does a similar thing to the half section except with rectangular parts. So you use this when you have multiple features to section, but they're not all on the same plane. This is used a lot in uh, dies, die construction. You often have offset holes. And let me show you on the board what I mean. So imagine you got a block with four holes in it. There's no convenient way to run a cutting plane through the part. So if you run it right here, you're only cutting these two holes. If you do it here, only one hole. 
You can't do it diagonal through the part. You can't show all of the holes in a single section except with the offset section. So the way it works, we're gonna do our normal cutting plane. All right, I'll put an arrow here, but we're gonna take a right turn at the next feature. And then before the next feature, and then the next arrow. What this does is cut the part in different planes. So when we show the actual section, it'll look like this. Right, we got all four holes sectioned. There's nothing in the actual section view that's gonna indicate that this was an offset section. The only way it could be indicated, say you label these AA, you might, you might see it in the section label. Otherwise, there's no extra lines or anything telling you they're not on the same plane, okay? So these are, this is a very simple part, but imagine if these were all different sizes. Some of them had chamfer, some of them had counter bores. This puts into one view, which would have taken several views, okay? The less views you have on a drawing, the more readable it typically is. So next are aligned sections. Aligned sections are used with cylindrical parts with odd numbers of features. So imagine a shaft with three holes going through it. It does a very similar thing to the offset section, but for cylindrical features. So let me show you on the board. Imagine we've got a round part, three holes going through it. We can't take a section here or here or here and have it make sense, right? We'd only be going through one feature or two features, but it'd be one third of the part, it'd get kind of messy. What we do, and you might have guessed, is we're going to draw our cutting plane to the center of the part, and we're gonna turn at whatever degrees this hole is off of the other holes, okay? so. We're just gonna section here and then make a turn here. Unlike the half section, we will have two arrows. Now, when we actually show the section view, again, there's gonna be basically nothing to indicate that it came from an aligned section. It's just understood, right? So we'll draw our section lines. That way we can show the two holes on the same view. This is kind of a, a sort of a convention. You wouldn't want to show a view with one of the holes. It wouldn't describe the part correctly, right? So the angle, all the dimensions will be here. You can put the size of the holes here, but this just makes the drawing more clear. And it won't always be three holes. It could be five, seven, any odd number. So next up is our broken out section. So what this does is create a section on a view that already exists. So you're not gonna use a cutting plane or even another view. You will use the short break line to show where it's sectioned. This is really common for complex parts where you have a lot of views already. You can just show and dimension on a single view instead of creating a whole nother section view. So let me show you how it works. Imagine. We have a block with a counterboard hole through it. And right now, I've got hidden lines. To do our section view, our broken out section, we'll use a thick uh, freehand line around the area that we want to section. Right? And then we're gonna convert anything within this short break line, any hidden lines into visible lines. Okay, So just like a section view, Anything in the section will become visible. And then anything between the feature and the short break line will just become section lines. And then at this point, we could dimension this feature. So we'll have a center line going through it. All right, you can dimension to visible lines instead of hidden lines all in one view, okay? So like I said, if you can reduce the views, it's usually good for readability. Next up is the revolved section. So this is sometimes known as an insert view. This is used to show the section in something like a wheel or a spoke or a hand wheel. What you're doing is just 
taking the section and rotating it inside of the part. So let me show you an example. I've got a hand wheel right here. So this is what I'll attempt to draw on the board. I'll imagine we've got our hand wheel on the board. We could take a section, a whole section through this to show this diameter. What a revolve section does, you're just gonna draw the section right there, add our section lines, right, and show it right inside of the part. Now there's a couple ways to do this. You can just rotate the section and leave it like this. Sometimes you'll see it with brake lines, right, to clearly separate it from the part. A whole bunch of different ways, but at this point, you can apply a diameter to that section and make it real obvious what it is, okay? So that's our revolved section. Next up is the removed section. This is really common in drawings where you start to run out of room on the sheet. Now, drafters never want to create a second sheet when they can put everything on one sheet. So a removed section, instead of having the section in projection, you're going to move it out of projection and then note that you did that. You can also change the scale. So you can't change the scale on something when it's in direct projection, but if it's removed and noted as such, you can make it half scale, double scale, whatever scale you need. So let me show you an example. Say you've taken up the whole face of your drawing with a cylinder. For whatever reason, you don't want to change the scale, but you want to show a section. The way you'll do it, take your cutting plane. All right, so cutting plane through the middle of the port, section AA. I just note right here where I normally say section AA, I'll say removed section AA, one half scale, okay? So you can take this section, put it somewhere else on the drawing without having to create a second sheet. Now every company does the notation a little bit differently. Some companies might say uh, remove section, some might have it in the notes, there's a bunch of different ways to do it. But it's a really handy tool for drafting. So next up is the partial section. So the partial section is when you uh, make the cutting plane smaller than the overall size of the part so that you can show a section of a small portion of the part if those are all the details you need. So let me give you an example. Imagine you have, imagine you have a cookie sheet, right? So whatever, eight by 12 cookie sheet. It's got a little uh, hem on the top and pretty shallow. You only want to show this portion of the part, right? If you show that, it's understood that that just goes all the way around. The way we would do it, you draw a cutting plane that's not the full width of the part. It's only pointing at the stuff you're interested in, right? A, a normal section would be this whole thing, but we only need this much. In the actual section view, we can wipe away anything that's not in line with that cutting plane, and we'll add a break line to the part to indicate that it's been cut. Now this part is pretty thin. I could add a little bit of thickness to it. And we just add our section lines in as we would normally. And this might get marked up if we add it labeled as partial section AA, okay? So that's it for our section views. Those are the seven most common. Every textbook might be a little bit different on what they call what, but those are the seven best ways to section something and make a drawing make sense. So if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe and check out the channel for more drafting videos coming soon.